Hey y'all, I'm in my old kitchen at uh, on Turner's Creek. And those that have followed me for years, y'all will recognize this kitchen because I shot in this kitchen for years. So <laughs> I'm, I'm back in it. Michael and I have come full circle. We're right back where it started. <laughs> We're at the scene of the crime. It's a good crime. That's the wall that my two dogs ran around and found Michael propped on his chain link fence, smoking a cigarette and talking on his cell phone. <laughs> and you know what? 16 years later, the only thing he doesn't do any different is he ain't smoking cigarettes. Exactly. It's cigars now. <laughs> and they stink so bad. So, the team and myself, my team, Eddie, my team, Teresa, and my team, Paula, that's our team. <laughs> <laughs> and we got together and we talked about Christmas cookies. And we thought it would be fun to do the 12 days of Christmas cookies. Well, when we opened up Paula Dean's Family Kitchen in Nashville, Tennessee, there was a cute young man that was our photographer. And his name was Philip Feldman, F-R-Y-M-A-N. And he is really, really loyal to Southern cooking. And he has his own uh, Facebook page. And it's called, and we'll send you the link so you can go there and find out more about Philip. But uh, it's Philip. Southern I think it's Daddy. just, uh-huh, I think it's just Philip, not his second name, mm -hmm. but just Philip, and um, Southern, and Southern Fatty. Now, the Fatty is all capital, F-A-T-T-Y dot com. So, it's Philip, Southern Fatty, capitals, dot com. So... Uh, Philip, you, you did so good the day we were up there taking pictures and uh, the grand opening and the ribbon cutting of, of that restaurant was so, so exciting for all of us. And I appreciate everything you did, darling, to, to capture it on paper <laughs> and not just out there in them waves, in those computer waves. <laughs> so I decided after Teresa spoke with you, uh, you gave us permission to use your favorite cookie that your mother makes every Christmas. And I, wow. who is it? Hush. So I have had this cookie years ago. I'm almost thinking my grandma Paul might've made it, but, uh, I don't know that I've ever made it. So, Philip, I'm thrilled to death to get your recipe. And uh, it's called cornflake cookies. And it's it's an easy recipe, prep time, maybe 15 minutes, cook time about 15 minutes. So this is really gonna go quick. So I can't wait to try you and your mama's uh, cornflake cookies. And we're gonna start off by beating two sticks of butter. Uh, Y'all ain't shy about all the butter and Crisco <laughs> used in this recipe. That's Southern cooking. Though. I know it's Southern cooking. And this is butter flavored solid shortening. Of course, you know who makes it. They've been around for a hundred years. So we are just gonna beat these. All right, let's see, he tells cream, butter, sugar, and shortening until just, no, until well combined on this. So I'm gonna beat this for a minute and then I'm gonna throw in our sugar. Just in a conversation. Hi, Lulu. 
we were just in a conversation about whether you're supposed to use um, like frosted flakes or just plain corn flakes. And Teresa said, I'm adding two cups of sugar, y'all. And Teresa said, well, I bought just plain old frosted, I mean plain, plain old corn flakes because frosted flakes has a whole bunch of sugar. And since we just put two cups of sugar in here, Teresa felt like we did not need but what does Paula sugar. think? What does Paula think? A little more sugar, it never hurt nothing. So you would be using frosted. Pat my belly. No, Teresa, since I didn't see frosted anywhere, I'd have stood up there and I'd have had a debate with myself. <laughs> but I would probably have just settled on what he said. Point That's unusual for you to follow the recipe. I know. <laughs> I know it. So, Philip, you're just a dear, and I'm so proud for the first recipe of 12 Days of Christmas is yours. Okay, so that seems to be pretty good. All right, now let's see what his next step is. He tells us to sift together flour, baking soda, on the left -hand side. over here, yep. cream of tartar right here, and, okay, how much salt did he say? Half a teaspoon, I believe. Half a teaspoon, yes. So, let's see what I can transfer this with. I think I'll use this. So, this is all-purpose flour, plain flour, or all-purpose, whatever you call it. can't wait to taste this recipe and see if it rings a bell. All right, the soda, the tartar, and then half a teaspoon of salt. You know, it, this sounds like to me kind of that potato chip cookie, Teresa. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had the potato chip? I have. Well, my cousin Don, when he and Darlene come up and spend Christmas with us, he makes that beautiful cherry cookie every Christmas. And we've done that for years and years and years uh, with Don and Darlene. Is that the chocolate chunk? No, it's the cherry cookies with the icing on top. Oh my gosh. They are so good and they look real Christmassy. Wow. They good. <laughs> so, uh, and he also makes that potato chip cookie which this reminds me of that, cookie. of that cookie, yes. Come on, flour, get through there. You know what I found is the last ingredient to stay in the sifter? The salt. Kosher salt. So I just turn it up and put it in there. All right. So let's see what little Philip says. Did I leave, may I have my measuring scoop, please? Thank you. All right. So by hand, all right, let's see. He said, add this to the butter mixture and combine until just mixed. So that's what we're gonna do. He doesn't say to add it in small amounts. He just says add it to our butter mixture. So, I think I'll do it in like two separate, two separate batches. Okay. This is going to be very thick. Very thick. Okay. You know, every time I hear, here we go, there we go, I think that that's children's nursery rhyme. There we go around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. I'm trying to think 
because of the little triplets, they love for you to sing. And I've been working my nursery rhyme songs. Here we go. Here we go round the mulberry bush. And oh my goodness, they love London Bridge. They love that one. Yes, I would love that, but where would I play this? Where would I play that CD? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get it for you via iTunes and then you can put it on your iPad. Oh, okay. Play it on your iPad. Yeah, because do we have a CD player, Eddie? I don't think so. I don't think I got one That's of those. So That's how far we've come along that CD players are obsolete. They are. That's what happened in cars, I think. Yeah, I think I've got one in my car, but I have never, and Lord have mercy, what if I had that car eight years, I have never figured out how to put a CD in it. You have Sirius, don't you, on your, you have yeah, one of them. They yeah. probably have a nursery rhyme channel. They have everything. If I was not computer illiterate, that would be a grand idea. I have a feeling that we can figure it out. <laughs> All right, let's see. I need a spatula. And uh, Philip says to just beat this until mixed. All right, I'm gonna try to sling some of that batter off without slinging it all over us. Did I get you, Eddie? Nope. <laughs> well, is, look, it went way out there. It's a nice deep counter. Uh-huh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> but it about got you, it was close. All right, so Philip tells us to add the vanilla. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Thank you, because I've already forgotten. So Teresa, Teresa's had uh, uh, a sick baby. Her baby is sick. And it's one of those four-legged babies. <laughs> and uh, do you have your dog home? I meant to ask I you. I did. I brought him home. He has a little slip okay. disc. Bless his little heart. A slip disc. And he's half. He's part. I don't know. He's a, he's a rescue. And he's a got rescue. a little bit of, they told me King Charles Cavalier and um, Chihuahua. But he looks like, Eddie, would we say a Jack Russell? With Beagle. Oh, yeah, he, I was going to say Beagle. He, he's got a long body. And little fat legs. And little fat legs. And somehow that little long body has worn him out. And I said, it is a good so, thing I don't have so children because I have driven people out. <laughs> so Philip tells us to add in the pecans and the cornflakes by hand. And so I'm going to get those mixed up and then we're going to mound them up on a cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper. We're going to bake them at 350 for about 13 minutes. Okay. Here we go, Philip. Oh my goodness. I had two smaller pans and then this large pan. And uh, <laughs> Philip. You said in your notes that this was the best cookie in the whole world and this is what you wanted your mother to make every Christmas. Well, I tell you what, oh, Paula Dean's jumping on that same bandwagon with you because I taste, you can see there's a cookie missing off this plate right here. I had to already taste one and they are out of this world. And guess who showed up? Look over there. Guess who showed up just in time? Michael Gruber can smell a cookie bacon five <laughs> miles away. <laughs> Ain't you, Mike? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? <laughs> Papa does love him a good cookie. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it, Henry? It's good. Mm, isn't it good? Mm. You haven't tasted it yet, have you, Mike? No, I'm waiting. You want? Mm -hmm. I will definitely be making these again. 
y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.